In this video, we will discover a little the edit mode. So to go in edit mode first, I will add maybe, uh, or let's take the queue for the first example, okay? And the first demonstration. So whatever I will do in object mode, except the Boolean tool uh, that we use to transform really the, the topology of the object, but whatever I will use with G, R, and so all the functions that I have here, I will cannot change my cube and, and change really the topology of my cube. Okay, I, I will can scale it and stretch it and whatever, rotate it and stretch it again. Uh, but it will stay an object with uh, eight points, okay, and uh, six faces around it. It's okay, and this will not change here, as you can see. Uh, if you want to enter the topology, of an object like that and change it deeply, uh, you will have to use the edit mode. Okay, so we will go with uh, our monkey here, our little Suzanne, and I will keep the view like that, just go into orthographic view. And uh, to go in edit mode, you have uh, several solutions. The, the easiest one, the easiest one and the most uh, common to use is tab. Okay, you go from object mode, to edit mode with tab, very easy to use and very handy. You can go here to use the head edit mode to and come back to object mode. Or you can use the uh, pie menu with control tab and go to the right or to the left. Okay, to the right, to the left, and you will go from object mode to edit mode. Good. When we enter in edit mode, uh, you have to understand how works uh, the meshes topology. So. A mesh is composed by vertices. Vertices is the little dots that you can see here. Okay. It's composed by vertices that usually are linked, uh, together by here edges. So two vertices will give an edge like this. And you can see the edge here. And, uh, more than two can give, uh, can give here, for example, a face and you have uh, three possibility of faces. You have here the quad. So the quad is one face with four vertices here. You have the possibility to have here a triangle too with three vertices only. Okay. And you have the possibility to have, and I come back to object mode and add just here a cylinder with the option and gone. Yeah, it's good. So you have the possibility to have here a face two, oops, sorry, a face here too, that is composed by a lot of vertices. So when it's more than four vertices, you will call it angle. Okay. So you can do triangles. You can do three. You can do uh, four vertices. So it will be quad or you can do more than that and it will be uh, angled, but it's still a face. Okay. Uh, there are advantages of trees and quads and handguns. Uh, mostly when you start modeling, you always think about, and uh, it's very important rule to begin modeling if you don't know anything about modeling. It's a very good rule to keep in mind. Always try to model in quads. It gives a lot of liberty of selection and of moving things after. And, uh, yeah, try always to model in quad. And you can see that except in 2D eyes here that you have several little triangles. If you turn around Suzanne, everything is in quad except here on the corner that you have still little triangles. But except that really this model is really, uh, done almost with, almost with everything with quad. And this is what you want to achieve when you model. Okay. So you have the possibility to select here the vertices. And when you select, when you select your vertices, you can do the same operations of selection that we did learn already. Okay. You can click and drag and it will select everything inside or we shift it. It will double select. Okay. It will add to the selection. A select everything and A deselect everything. You have the possibility to select vertices like that and you have the possibility to select edges here. Okay. So now I can move an edge like this with G. And 
Here you have the possibility to select faces too. And now we can select faces by faces. Okay? So it can be uh, interesting to use these features after, and you will see during the modeling after you, we will change from one to another. And to change it quickly, if you want the first, so this one, it will be number one. So we don't use the numpad here, it's the, uh, the keys that are above uh, A, Z, E, okay? So, okay, here you will have the numpad 1, it will be vertices. Uh, not numpad 2, not numpad, sorry. 1 will be vertices, 2 will be edges, and 3 will be faces, okay? So very uh very important one to know and very easy you don't have to use these buttons again with one two three it comes very quick quickly like that so the shortcuts that works more or less the same between object mode and edit mode uh, g work the same you move okay and if you add the tool here it's the same as in object mode, as you can see here, it's exactly the same. The first three are exactly the same here. So if you go into edit mode, you will come back with the same tools in the beginning. So you can move your object with G or use the gizmo as well, and it will move your selection. So let's say I make a selection here, okay? And I want to move the eyes like that. Okay, and I want to move the eyes here. So I will can move the eye. Okay, good. Perfect, Control z to not have something too crazy, but more or less, G works, R works, S works the same too, okay? And uh, with, the, uh, with the shortcuts, you can use the values too, for example. So if you want to make a G, Z, 0 0.5, it will go 0 0.5 into the Z axis, 0 0.5 meters there, okay? So... Same for rotation, RZ45, you will make 45 degrees rotation into the Z axis. So you can constrain uh, the action the same way we did before into object mode. So G, R, S, and all the possibilities with the control, with the shift, uh, everything works more or less the same. Good news, no? And uh, so easy way to manage that. And some other shortcuts uh, works the same too. Uh, let's say, for example, I make a selection here, a kind of bigger selection with just the click and drag here, like so, with this one. Thank you. Okay, so I would like to select all of that at once and shift to select more. Good. So let's say I have a selection like this that I want to keep. Good. And let's say with this, I would like to duplicate this selection. Shift D works exactly the same. So if I make Shift D now, you can see that I can uh, duplicate my selection. So I can duplicate my selection into the, an axis too, with the Z axis, for example, and I will have uh, a duplication of the selection. And if I scaled up, if I scale up a little my selection, I will can make kind of hat or, or I don't know what it is really. But, uh, if we take this, maybe there's two edges and put it into the Y axis. Okay. Let's say we have a hat. It's very not beautiful at all, but we have two geometries into the same object still. Okay. So be careful. You can have two geometries in the same object and it will be still one object in object mode. So if I go in object mode now, I will move my object. Even if it has two geometries, the head and the hat, uh, it will be only one object. If I want to do, to make one object with this selection here. So I select it with R and we will see this into the selections tools after. Uh, I select it with R and I will make with P. I will can separate the selection here and create another object that will be Suzanne 001 here. So now in object mode, I can select my two objects. So I did create another object from a selection. An interesting uh, thing that we can use often to uh, yeah, to, to help you to create things quicker. It can be easy like that. So this one, we will rename it hat. 
okay and hide it maybe and enable it when you want so you can just like that by select something into your object duplicate it and with p after you can just uh, separate it into another object interesting way of doing things like this uh, so you can duplicate and it's the same you can delete to and delete was x into the uh, the the object mode and x makes the same but we have uh, more options you can delete vertices for example this point and it will remove everything that is linked with these vertices a big hole like this okay and you can remove edges edges too so with x edges and it removes only the edge like that and you can remove for sure the faces and it will remove only the face selection there is another that is interesting here so there is the only edge and face only faces but we will not use this during the training more or less but uh, one that is interesting it's a dissolve here the three dissolve uh, are interesting because it removes a selection but keep the surface above so if you have a vertice to remove there it will keep the surface above you can see that I have still a face here that I can select into face selection mode and it's an end gone because it's more than four vertices okay so we have the possibility like that just to keep the surface even if uh, it's a little weird for some angles it's not uh, it's not recommended to do like this for sure but uh, it can help sometimes uh, to save time and here you can remove and dissolve edges too and it will re remove only the edge like that and if you have a big selection like exactly the same we had before with the but with the faces okay it will dissolve the faces like this too same system okay so dissolve will remove the selection but keep the surface above even if it's uh, and gone after okay so interesting way of doing things too uh, for removing things so that's it remember that in object in edit mode you can go with tab that the shortcuts that we use usually uh, basic shortcut g r s shift d and x uh, works the same than uh, in object mode and that you have the possibility to select vertices to select edges and to select here faces okay so that's it for uh, this video into the next video we will see the selection tools into edit mode